Hello. <laughs> I hope you can see everything from here. I just want to show you something real quick that I like to do, um, especially if broccoli or even cauliflower, the fresh, is on sale. Sometimes this is too much to have for a meal. So what I'd like to do to hold it is, I got this out earlier and um, I'm just gonna go for it. I just wanna cut this up, get rid of that, okay? And then I cut it like this way, like down and then I pull it apart. I don't go all the way or it damages all the little tree part, the leaf part of the trees as the kids like to call them. I go like this, see how I do this with my knife and I just pull it, pull it, pull it and pull it like that. And then I have to go back, of course. I'm, I wanna make these bite size is what I wanna do. And hopefully you can see that. Some of them are just too big, but don't cut them from this end, okay? Don't cut them that way. Cut them from their little stalk, okay? And then that way you don't lose quite as many um, of the tops. Okay, I'm gonna cut these off because they're not quite bite size. Okay, you get the point. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna marinate them. Now, could I be fancy schmancy and get out like different flavors of oil and all that? Yeah, I could. Now I'm gonna do a lot more than this. So I'm gonna put these in the bowl, okay? And like I said, I'm gonna, I might put some cauliflower in, but I'm gonna make this buffalo roasted, breaded and roasted and uh, buffalo flavor cauliflower for probably tomorrow's dinner, but I just wanted to get that out. Now don't laugh, but I like to just use the cheapest uh, dollar uh, dressing out of the store, out of Aldi especially. And there's two kinds that they have. And I did want to show you that like labels are important. This is a zesty Italian and this is just Italian. It doesn't, I wouldn't eat these on my regular salad, by the way. Some people do, that's fine, have at it. But I don't like them on a salad. But what I do is I like to use them in cooking. I'll even take this, get a hot skillet and shake it up and pour that in as if it's my olive oil or um, regular canola or vegetable oil. But I wanna show you something. On the backs, can you see like this one has more oil? Can, I don't know if you can tell that. Then this one, this one just has a little bit on top from here up. And this one is about from there up. And when you look, now it doesn't make a big difference, but it makes some different, right? Nutritional facts are the same, two tablespoons, blah, blah, blah. This one has 80 calories. It has more oil in it. And this one just has 60. It's just a whole lot of spices. Can you see this? Look at all the spices in there. I don't know if I'm doing that right. Um, just some spices. And this one has some, but not, the, not as much, but they didn't have more of this at the store. And honestly, this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it a shake. This is the end of this one, okay? And pour it on top. It's kind of thick. There we go. And I'll toss it around. I'll get a spoon here just to show you a little bit of it. I'm just gonna to toss it so that all the sides of the veg are touching that marinade. Can I add things to it? Of course I can. How about a can of um, black olives? along with some cauliflower, that'll look pretty, right? You could marinate carrot chunks in it and have it as like a cold salad uh, on your buffet or for dinner. But the, you know what we like to do? <laughs> we just like to, and it, it won't be a ton of dressing on it. I could put some cheese in here too, or a little bit of other good olive oil, if you will. But what we like to do is we just like to eat these cold. Um, Thane will just take a little side bowl and eat them for dinner again and again, um, but I like to put them in my salad. Boom, you know, in whatever salad. I don't even care if I'm having ranch dressing with my salad, but I just use them like that. But this is yet another idea to mix it up for dinner and it, it's inexpensive, it's super easy to do, and it's yummy. I have served these uh, cold veg, and like I said, it's usually the white cauliflower, green, some orange carrots, and then those black olives, I think they look nice together, you know? And then it's not soaking in the dressing when you put it out, put it in a pretty bowl, <laughs> keep it in the fridge, chill it, maybe a little tiny bit of salt, but not too much. And there you have it. It's just one more idea. Okie doke.